Hi everyone, I'm Hope, and Mill History Talk presents Combat Machines, Quick Breakdown from Blueprints to Battlefields. Today, we're talking about the Lexington-class carriers, America's first true supercarriers. Originally built as massive battle cruisers, the Navy realized speed and flight deck space mattered more than big guns. So, in the 1920s, the unfinished hulls of Lexington and Saratoga were converted into the carriers that would define the fleet. These ships were huge for their era, over 880 feet long, nearly 34 knots, and able to carry more than 90 aircraft. Their long flight decks, turboelectric engines, and strong anti-aircraft batteries set the blueprint for all American carriers that followed. On the battlefield, Lexington fought at the Battle of the Coral Sea, helping stop Japan's advance, before fires forced her crew to abandon ship. Saratoga survived torpedoes, bombs, refits, and kept fighting from 1942 through Iwo Jima, earning eight battle stars. The Lexingtons proved that carriers, not battleships, would dominate the Pacific. They traded armor for air power, and the Pacific never looked the same again.